The one day tour by retired Major General Jim Huezi in Kanungu District commenced from Kihihi, where he inspected a rice hauler machine owned by Kibimbiri Rice Farmers Cooperative Society Factory, Kifrako. Subsequently, members of Kifrako convened at Gold Cottages for their annual general meeting. It is uh, the club that has sustained many lives beyond Chigezi. We even export this rice. A positive development to see people uh, from different districts cooperating uh, under a common um, adventure like a uh, rice growing. The meeting predominantly attended by Kifrako members and stakeholders addressed various challenges faced by the session including mistreatment by local police. Uh, I know government has supported them very well and these rice growers they are doing very well they have a big circle which is the circle that we have been visiting today. I appeal to the government that if they can add in more effort, add in more money to these growers so that they can be able to increase their growing and their in output, it will be very good for our people here. Among other issues raised to misuse of circle funds, which means that Jim who is certainly won't against, emphasizing it is violation of the country's laws. And it's a crime, it is theft, it's embezzlement. They are all under the criminal code, uh, the penal code. Uh, so um, I was teaching them that they should fear touching the money for the, these, the circles. The delayed progress of government irrigation schemes in Kanungu was also highlighted with Minister Jim Huez pledging to address the matter. This irrigation scheme that is a mega that is coming uh, funded by World Bank should be uh, expedited. Uh, because of the river Tonga, river Tonga source is not stable. The water flows sometimes in different way and uh, loses the target of where they could get the water. Uh, but the Minister of Water has promised to come down here and direct water. He talked about State House uh, introducing irrigation schemes and none of which has ever worked. And it's uh, really damaging the name of the office. Regarding concerns such as access to markets, insufficient capital, seeds and pesticides, Jim was promised to provide assistance. Earlier, the minister, alongside local leaders, engaged with border board operators, urging them to embrace circles. But now I'm trying to encourage them to come together and form circles so that we can bring here microfinance support centre and support them because we know microfinance support centre gives loans at a lower rate and President M7 encourages this circle. Muhez assured motorists that the government is addressing the issue of property theft with the rollout of digitalization in the motor industry. He also donated 5 million shillings towards the border border sector in Kanungu district. To local politicians, Jim Muhez extended an invitation to prioritize teamwork. This is important to unite uh, as leaders, especially belonging to the same political party. Why should there be differences? If there is anything, that needs to be resolved, there should be communication. They should sit down and talk. Robert Nyango, UBC News, Kanungu District.